hey everybody welcome back to another video on max programming and today we are going to talk about hacktoberfest 2021 what is hacktoberfest 2021 so if you are familiar with github and open source then you will get this thing very very easily so basically hacktoberfest is a competition or you can say an event that is held every year in october and what you have to do is if you participate in this you make pull request so that means you contribute to any open source project and if you make four pull requests that means you make four contributions and uh, those contributions will be counted and you will get a t-shirt of hacktoberfest so that is about hacktoberfest you can go to the official website i'll put the link in the description below hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com and this year they have also rebranded everything so from the last year they have completely changed the color scheme and all that stuff and i've made a video last year about how to make a pull request so you can check that out if you want to but i'm gonna make this year i'm gonna make one this year as well so you can go through the website and you can uh, go through each and everything okay so once uh, once you click on start hacking you'll be redirected to the uh, to the page where you can sign up so you can either sign up from github or gitlab you can choose whichever you want to so if you are going with the github route then sign up with github or gitlab if you want to contribute to gitlab repositories so i used github and as you can see this is my profile so one in progress and total completed zero so basically as you can see i have four pull requests so this is the first one project not participating and this basically means that the project does not have the hacktoberfest tag the second repository is this and this one is valid and the reason for that is if i was to click this if you go to this repository first of all this is merged so that's the first reason and secondly if i go to this repository you'll see there is the hacktoberfest topic so this is the most needed thing for a repository to be eligible for hacktoberfest and i've made two other pull requests which are not accepted yet so you need four pull requests this is the participant goal as you can see so that's how you see your profile now there are a few github repositories of mine and of other people which you can check out and if you want you can contribute to them for example this is a project hacktoberfest projects this is made by me and my friend so we got a bunch of contributors in just a day as you can see so there are many of these as you can see there are eight contributors just in a day and so and if you were to open this up okay if you were to open this up open this website up as you can see we've got a bunch of language so you can choose any language you want so if you want to find github repositories which are eligible for hacktoberfest what you can do is you can select the language you want for example javascript in my case i choose javascript and so here are a bunch of github repositories and these all of these are eligible for hacktoberfest so whatever pull request you make will be counted for hacktoberfest even you can filter it as you wish so for example recently updated if i want to filter by that i can do that so as you can see these are the recently updated uh, github repository and if i was to just click on this uh that will take me to the github repository itself and you can even paginate through uh, each and every for example next page if i want to go to the next page i can of course go to the next page and that takes me to the another page so that's good and all but you can even contribute to this web app as well the link will be in the description below so that's one project and this is another project by me uh, easy paste which is a simple app when if you want to share code paste to your friend you can check that out and this is a really great app by tapas atikari and you can even contribute to this app which is this is amazing and finally this app which is github contributions this is the tool which lets you generate this kind of uh, really cool image for github contributions you can check this out as well and there are a number of projects and you can always refer to this one if you want to check what whichever language you want you can even add another language by going to the repository and 
and it's good to add languages and contribute to this project it will be a really nice lastly i would lastly i would highly recommend you to go ahead and share your work on social media as i did so i shared my project on social media and it got a lot of attention at the hacktoberfest hashtags which is also trending right now so i hope that's it for this video guys i hope you like it let me know in the comments below what are you doing for hacktoberfest and finally thanks for watching